today I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of my uh, games I've created on Scratch. I've been creating games on Scratch for a while now. And I must say though, I've gotten a lot better at making Scratch games. Some of my old games are not very good. But today I'm going to show you some of my old ones and just show you what they are and show you inside. So I'm not going to sign in because if I do, I'll actually like edit. Like, if I play the game, I'll edit the game while I'm playing it. So, I'm just going to keep signed out. But, uh, my username is Raccoon0. So, wait, what? So, hold up. Oh, my bad. Two Cs. Wow. Rookie mistake, my guys. Okay. So this is the first game I've made. It's called Chicken Escape, and it's super simple. All you have to do is control this chicken and try and keep it away from the ball. So use your arrow keys, and yeah, yeah. And then if you're like in a pickle, you um use a space bar. So <laughs> that's what the game is. It's super easy. Well. At the start. At the start it's hard, but I've been playing- Whoa! I haven't played this in so long. I forgot how sudden it is. The concentration is... Intensifying. <laughs> the trick is to just do a circle. And you can just survive. For forever. So you have to survive for one minute. Of just doing... Circles, oh my. Oh no! I'm not even losing life. <laughs> it's so bad, it's not even working. What? Oh, I'm losing lives. Oh no. Oh no, I might actually lose. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I'm just backwards. Oh, it's so confusing. Oh no. Oh no. I survived! Yes. And then if you lose, oh, it won't even let me lose. If you lose, it just turns black and stuff. As I said, if you play it enough, it gets really easy. Anyway, so, <laughs> another one of my games. My second game. Okay, this game is super glitchy. It doesn't work at all. So you have to play with someone else. It's Deli Bird vs. Marsh Stomp. Yeah, that was sad. Anyways. I was really upset this game doesn't work. I'll show you what's inside of it though. I still spent a long time on it. It does there's not even that much coding. Not that you can really call it coding, but there's not that much. But it took a really long time to figure out. And then you got that. And at the end I just have him pop up. So you move Getting them to jump was very difficult for me at the time. Getting them to move around and stuff. I'm trying to make them attack. Oh, that's kind of lame. Oh. Wait, does he have another attack? I don't actually know. Maybe I? Oh, it brings down the cloud. <laughs> it has a scream. This game is so bad. Oh my goodness. The, you have to try and get the points as high as possible. Anyways, I'm not gonna go on that one because that one's trash and it's not exactly enjoyable. Okay, this one, it's, there's, it's not a game, but Pikachu dances to it <laughs> and other things come out. I'll just let you guys listen to this wonderful production. <laughs> oh my. I actually forgot about that part. <laughs> took so long to make, guys. Like, it's not even funny. 
I spent so long on it. And then I wasn't even happy with it. And then I failed that part. Where it's just like, the moon goes away, and just just like, hey, what's up? Just a lot. Just still in the air. It's so bad, though, because that's all that happens. And then Deli Board just pops in. And it just goes on and on. And they don't stop dancing either. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then if you press it again, <laughs> that's just weird. But you have to reset it. Okay, so here comes the actual good games. Those games are trash, as you guys can see. But these games I made recently, they're pretty decent, I would say. Me and my friend made them together. Um, so yes, I'm gonna show you these games. Hop into Stickman vs. The Cloud. Wait, it's hidden. Okay, hold up. Okay, so the game, so I'll read this out to you. Try to dodge the lightning bolts. Use the right arrow key to move to the right. The left arrow key to move to the left, obviously. Down to key to duck. And up key to jump. Point to see how long you can survive. You have 15 lives. Every 10 seconds you have to move because if, you, because if someone finds a sweet spot, it's not very fun. So basically like my teacher, we shoot it to my teacher. And he just hid in the corner the whole time and he got super high. And <laughs> we were just like, no, we gotta fix that. Anyway, so if you don't move, you'll lose your life. And every, th and so it's like 10 seconds. And then at the last three seconds, there'll be like a countdown. So, uh, my record's 201. I'm not going to be going for that long. Like, eventually I'll just kill myself. But I'm going to show you guys how it is. And it resets itself every time you press it. So that's really nice. Wait, is there sound? I don't think so, actually. Oh my, I'm so bad now. I would be on, like, full hearts if... <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Nice. Uh, go to the other side. Oh no. Oh no. I might not even have to like kill myself. I'm doing so badly. Oh no! Go! Oh, I died. Oh, it sucks. Man, I'm so bad. Okay, I gotta go again. I'm gonna concentrate this time. I, oh my, that was close. I'm going full, oh no, oh no, I messed up. I'm going full gamer mode right now. No talking. Oh my. Oh, I still took damage. What? No, that's so glitch. Oh no. Hold up, I'm in the air. Oh. I forgot about this glitch. If you end the game while you're in the air, if you get hit, you're stuck in the air. Let's try and see if I can do it, get higher. Okay. So if I'll go over here. And then I go like that. Hey, I'm higher. Okay, anyways, that's this game. This game took a really long time to code. But, oh, I'm going to show you guys inside. So, there's a lot of coding down. I'm not sure how much is on this side. I don't think any. My friend, he did all the drawing, and he also helped out with the um, coding as well, like if I was stuck. And, uh, yeah, we had to rewrite the lightning bolt so many times, though, because we were not sure what to do. But anyways, that's that one. Uh, okay. Blobby and the Stars. Okay, I haven't actually won at this game because it's super difficult. <laughs> it is possible, though. When I, you just have to click it a couple of times sometimes, otherwise it won't work. Same thing, just use the arrow keys. 
and there's no up, there's no up or down button. I have not played this in a while, so I don't actually remember what happens. But again, my friend was the one who made the. Oh my. My friend w was the person who made the song. Oh my. Went <laughs> so fast. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna die. Wait, I might actually win. We ch I changed the lives from to eight because I think it used to be five. Yeah, I think it used to be five. So now it might actually be possible. Maybe not. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have to survive for 100 seconds? Oh my, that was close. That was real. No. You see it? Whoa, that was close. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Two hearts. I'm not even halfway. That one is just going so slow. Oh no. Oh! Aw, oh, dang it. Oh, that's so hard. I'll show you guys the inside and tell you what happens if you win. Blobby is super. He is a. This is where we finally start getting into the. Like, actual getting a decent amount. The stars don't have that much. Whoa. That's not what I want. Um. Ayo. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. I almost did it again. Uh-huh. Okay, that was, that was annoying. That was really annoying. The stars don't have that much. <clears throat> but anyways, if you win, uh, Blobby... Blobby's mom, Blobby's dad, and Blobby's sister all pop up and say stuff. <laughs> but anyways, how the game actually works is there are these lines at the top. They're not actually red. They used to be red, but they're not red anymore. But they'll move um, across the screen like this, and the stars will fall down. They'll each go to their separate line, and the... Uh, uh, Lines will just go back and forth. I'm pretty sure it's random. I'm pretty sure. So it's not like you can just figure out where it is. Because when I actually was playing earlier, I thought there were five stars. Because they're going so fast. But it's three. That I remember. But this is where we finally start getting into a lot of coding. But after that, we start getting into some more leave page. We start getting into some more, um, oh my goodness, no, some more difficult games. And I started coding some by myself. I started a lot of games. And yeah, this one took a lot <laughs> of stuff. And then this though, right here, um, I decided to quit that because that sucked. This was also the, um, I made the Pokemon, Pokemon, on Scratch. I got Teen Titans Go, like, the, remember the Halloween? If you've ever seen it, you'd know that there's a Halloween thing, and it has a really cool cloak. And I was like, hey, I can make a Pokemon of that. But anyways, I start a lot of games. This one... I'll show you guys, I literally, I just started this one today, the number 10, and I kind of finished this one also today, <laughs> but this one, this one isn't exactly amazing, it's super easy, it's just where you shoot each other, I can't remember what you use to shoot, oh, there's sound, nice. Sorry, that's just, that's really good. Let me see. <laughs> Let's see if it resets. Oh, it doesn't. We don't have a reset thing. But yeah, I didn't finish that one. Let's see. There's also this one. Me and my friend didn't finish this one either. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa! 
<laughs> Holy moly. That's just one thing? They all have that much coating? What? Oh, yeah, because it's like... If they touch these things, they'll like it'll make them get destroyed. Hold up, how do I actually move this? Oh yeah, I move them around like this. This is glitch, man. <laughs> this is not good. Yeah, I never finished that one either. This one. Leave page. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this is at all, so I'm not gonna tap on that. This one though, I made very recently, and it has a lot of coding as well. How do I even move? Oh, what if I go like that? Yeah, a lot of coding, and then that has no no coding, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This guy has a decent amount, and that's it. But the point of this game is to try and get this guy to touch this guy. And it is very difficult to make. Let me go. Let me try and touch him. Because sometimes he will glitch out and not like go places where he's not supposed to. And like right here, this is one of his glitch areas. He'll stop right there. Because both this one and this, both this white spot and this white spot both make this guy go down. And since I should probably make what I did here and have it where if he goes here, then he'll change like the variable so that, because whatever, depending on the variable. He will go in a certain direction, so like turns the variable so that he'll go this way, so that it fixes him. But I stopped that one because I want I can't wait the better idea of another game. Uh, it's scratch inside of scratch. <laughs> I just started it today. I haven't gotten that much done, so there's not a lot of coding. Basically, no coding. This, this stuff right here is just so that you can't drag this guy out. Well, I have to press this thing. Oh my goodness. It'll just go back. That's nice. But anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys will check out uh, my scratch thing, my scratch account. You guys can play my games and... I hope you uh, give more suggestions on games I can do. Because I love uh, doing these Scratch games and all that. And if you guys have games of your own and Scratch accounts of your own. Then please like uh, tell me what your account is so I can play your game. Also if you want to see more of Scratch. Then I will make more videos on Scratch if you guys want me to. I probably will anyway because I really like doing scratch um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed